Hello, hi, thanks for joining our webinar today. My name is Hernan and I'm here at QNAP. Today we are going to be talking about share, sync, and backup with a QNAP QSync. We're going to talk about QNAP a little bit, talk about us. Uh, we were founded in April 2004. Uh, that's leading up to a little over 10 years of experience offering world-class leading network storage. Uh, we also uh, uh, provide uh, network video recorders as well as well as network multimedia solutions. Currently we have about 550 employees and that's, uh, that count is from November 2004. Um, we are a channel friendly uh, manufacturer selling worldwide in the IT and security channels. We are world class network storage uh, according to a market research conducted by Gartner uh, announced in March 2012 and these reports I believe come out every two years. <clears throat> Uh, we were named as a uh, number one supplier of standalone NAS products in the segment of um, sub 5,000 price band and below. So, and that is uh, revenue by raw terabytes shipped. Currently, we have about 3.5 million users worldwide. And as you can see here on the map, we have about uh, 1.5 million on the Western Hemisphere and over on the East, we have about a million. Uh, in Europe and about a million in Asia. What is QSync? Well, QSync is, is think of it as a private data center for file synchronization, uh, sort of like a private, your own private Dropbox, per se. Um, uh, access and share data securely anytime, anywhere. It supports various platforms, um, iOS, Android, Mac, and PC synchronizes photos and music in real time and it's network enabled. It's as simple as dragging and dropping and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you a live demo so you can kind of see how how that works. Okay, um, It's easy to set up. Okay, Real-time synchronization you can sync anywhere um, intuitive uh, way to sync. Okay, Secure file sharing and no monthly fees. So let's take a look here, a little side-by-side -side comparison of QSync or Dropbox. And the reason I put or is because um, I want to show more of an example of, of either or versus instead of saying the word versus. Obviously, they both have their, their similarities and some of their differences as well, and each one is unique. But let's take a closer look at each one. So let's take a look at the first column, which is, which is QNAP and the QNAP QSync. Okay? Um, and over on the right hand side is Dropbox. The cost for the QNAP QSync is free in essence it comes as an application with your QNAP NAS when you buy it, when you purchase it, it's just an application that you launch. With Dropbox you get about uh, 5 gigs free. The maximum storage um, for the QSync is hundreds of terabytes. Obviously depending on the size of your of your NAS system and and how big that is and how many hard drives it is, then that's how much basically your max storage is. Okay. For Dropbox, uh, the limit is 500 gigs. Maximum upload file size uh, for the QNAP QSync is unlimited. There is no limit. For Dropbox, it's 10 gigs. Users and the QNAP NAS, you can create uh, 4,096 unique individual users to access your system and your files. Uh, with Dropbox, it's only one per person. Files are archived. Um, with the QNAP QSync, it's unlimited. Uh, with Dropbox, you get 30 days, okay, and then and then it recycles, and you have to add, you know, the next 30. Uh, User-owned encryption key with QNAP, yes, it's your own encryption. It's own your own private encryption. Uh, with Dropbox, it's their encryption key, not yours. Schedule sync with QNAP, yes, you can schedule it to do it whenever you like, perhaps when there's less uh, network traffic or when you're using your NAS less. With Dropbox, there isn't, uh, you need to synchronize it. You need to tell it when to, when to synchronize files that you've added. Let's talk about the installation. Um, the QNAP QSync is very easy to install. Once you launch the app, okay, it will, you'll see a, uh, a little icon that says enable. You just move that slider over and it's now it's active. Okay. Um, it'll show up uh, on any computer. Okay. You, so you basically download uh, the client and then 
very easy. It'll synchronize what's just on the network. Okay. Um, easily being located through Bonjour okay, protocol um, and uh, on Mac computers. So zero configuration. So it's really easy. It actually finds it automatically once you install it. So it'll basically synchronize once the synchronization will begin or it'll start synchronizing once it finds it. It does it automatically. One click enables the QTS okay, and uh, installs uh, the app into your system. Okay, so you'll be able to see that. And again, very easy to install, very easy to manage as well. So let's take a quick look. Let's look at a, lem a demo and basically how this is going to work. And I'm going to show this to you in just a second here. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the interface of, of our QNAP. Okay, of our QNAP NAS. Okay, so the Q the uh, QSync is is found is found inside your folders and your files. Okay, so we're going to go into our file station. We'll see all our folders. Okay, and what we're looking at here is our QSync. As you can see, here, our QSync folders. Okay, now let's take a look at our on my PC. Okay, now. We'll minimize this and our presentation as well. Okay, and now these are the folders that are found inside my PC. For example, we'll go into pictures. Okay, and we have several folders with pictures inside of them. So what we're going to do is we have a QNAP logo file here with the QNAP logo picture. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to basically get that picture and put it inside the QSync folder that's found in our PC. Okay, so we can open another another folder, okay, and we can simply drag and drop the folders we want to move within the QSync, okay. And so we'll go down here and we'll take a peek at our QSync, okay. So as you can see, it already instantly synchronized, okay. So we have a logo here. This is actually again our NAS that we're logged into and the logo is already there. So it's that simple to synchronize. And again, this can happen, you can do this anywhere in the world. Uh, whether you're traveling on vacation, on holiday, and you wanna share your pictures or share your share, share the moments that, you, you know, that you're capturing with your family, you can do it instantly. Now once, once you've downloaded or once you synchronize this, you have different options, you can actually share it as well. Now you can share it from within the NAS, as you can see here. Okay, or you can actually share it from your PC or laptop as well. Now, synchron synchronization works uh, from your NAS to your, obviously, from for your laptop and vice versa. Okay, it also works on your smartphones and tablets. So here with, with the uh, right click, okay, we'll see the QSync. Okay, and this gives us different options, it gives us three different options. Okay, view the previous version. Okay, of of whatever we whatever we uh, we added to to the folder. Okay, delete this folder, uh, delete this folder, but keep its copy of the NAS. Okay, or we can share the link. So now let's say we want to share the link. We want to send this link over to our family. We can. Okay, so you can write in your family's name. Okay, the email will go here. Okay, and. Uh, you can send the information, send the message over to a loved one. Okay, now, in the settings, you can tell you can you can make this uh, this uh, message very secure using SSL. Okay, you can actually have it expire as well. Okay, so it has an expiration date. Okay, and you can actually add a password to it to make it even more secure. So, um, you because you are sending information, pictures, and, and data over the internet, you definitely want to have the security. Uh, to be able to 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 know that you have um, that your that your files are being protected and that you, that you are secure, you want to have that sense. So this gives you that that ability to know that the information you're sending is safe, rest assured. So, and what happens is if we come in here and delete it, okay, um, then we can come to go back into our NAS. Okay. And as you can see, it's it's gone there. So once it's gone from the source, then it'll it'll synchronize, it'll synchronize because it's no longer there. Then the synchronization is gone. There's nothing to synchronize, so everything is gone. So that is our our little demo. And again, it's very easy to use, drag and drop. 
Okay, and you can drag and drop into your NAS, or you can drag and drop into your desktop. Okay, as we're doing here, you can drag and drop into this folder, or drag and drop into the folder that's on your on your um, on your PC. So let's talk a little bit um, about synchronizing files and folders across across devices. Okay, uh, whenever you add, edit, delete, or rename a file um, on one on one of the computers. The changes apply apply to all of the other all the other computers or the devices that has that particular file in it. Okay, so it's actually real synchronization. She's not moving in, moving data, you know, uh, around anywhere. It's actually really synchronizing it. Sync selective subfolders as well, and this is very unique in a lot of um, a lot of synchronization software. Doesn't allow you to do this. Where the QNAP uh, QSync, you can actually do this. Okay, so um, when synchronizing files, you can choose to only sync specific subfolders within the QSync folder. So you don't have to sync the whole folder, especially if you have a lot of information, a lot of pictures, a lot of documents. Uh, you don't want to have to synchronize the whole thing. So you can actually select folders, select different files that you want to sync, and at what time. Okay, and again, we talked about the security. Okay, the security that the QNAP NAS gives you and the, Q, the QSync allows you to do. Very secure. Secure ways to sync. And again, what it does is it gives you information. Who's logging in, who's opened, um, who's received the information that, you, that you're sending the synchronization to. Um, and it's, it's easy to manage as well and easy to view these, these reports. Easily managed devices. So, and as you can see here, there's, there's a few devices connected here. Okay, and what it does is the neat thing is it gives you the information, okay? The information of, of who's logged in. And here we can see different devices, whether it's Nate's desk, okay, desktop or Nate's MacBook Pro, okay? So he has different different types of whether it's, it's his desktop or it's his, his Mac, Apple laptop, okay? You see here it's synchronized, it's connecting. So we know that it's synchronized and it's connecting information. And, and again, this is the ability to, to be able to come in okay, and synchronize different types of PCs, different types of computers in different environments and get the data that you need synchronized. Okay, um, another great thing you can do is create team folders. Okay, and this is an amazing tool when you're collaborating within your colleagues, okay, or students. Let's say, for example, you're a professor, this is a great tool. Or you're a student, even better. Why? Because you can collaborate with other students. Okay, in college and university, this is a great tool. It's well for high school as well when you're working on projects, uh, particular projects and homework, and you need to collaborate with your other teammates. You know, well, guess what? I mean, it, you know, um, it could be snowing outside. There can be storms. It can be all kinds of things where perhaps you cannot leave the comfort of your home, but you still, you know, but the, at the end, you know, the next morning, your, your professor is going to expect this collaboration to be conducted. With QNAP, now this is available. Now this lets you do it, whether you're, you know, whether it's a colleague, you know, in a different continent, or whether it's a student of yours that's, uh, you know, that's a few, that's a few blocks away. The QNAP team folder will allow you to collaborate and bring all these, all these information synchronized together. The share link, as I mentioned to you, simple right click. Okay, you add the information. You add, you can add. Um, the person's email, uh, you can tell it when to expire, okay, and password protected if need be. Version controls, um, I had mentioned that a little bit earlier during our demo, and what this what this does is um, it res you can actually restore a file, particular file, to a previous version. Now think about this: you're collaborating, all of a sudden uh, someone makes a mistake or you don't like it, you don't like the the end result, you can actually roll it back to a prior version, to a prior date and time. Okay. Now this allows you um, to go back into the collaboration and perhaps make the changes at that particular point. Okay. And here you can see it's the same. It's the same um, multimedia hub final, for example. This this is an example. What time was the change done? What time was the replication created? You can actually go back and, and to that particular time and date. Okay, and be able to access that information and be able to make download it either to your to your um, computer or laptop or tablet, 
or you can actually download it to your NAS directly as well. It gives you those options to create a new, let's say you want to create a separate file, um, uh, you know, for, for editing purposes. You can actually create that as well. Okay, so um, that has been um, our, our webinar for this afternoon. Thank you, everyone, for attending. Um, also, have a little bit of news um, for us. Coming soon is the new TVS X63 Golden Cloud Turbo NAS series that's coming out. It's the Gold NAS. Uh, keep your eyes looking, you know, keep your eyes out for it. It's a 10 gig ready uh, NAS. It's very powerful. It's the first NAS uh, that has an AMD G series processor in it. It's a, it's a great product. It's an amazing product um, and very affordable 10G solution. So keep your eyes open for that product. And again, on behalf of QNAP, my name is Renan. Thank you very much for attending today and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you.